I am Adhishtam, Assistant Professor of Costume Design and Fashion. Our today's topic is Nighty. Nighty is a chemist type of garment with or without sleeve. According to the taste, the fullness is introduced. For this garment, we introduce fullness at the chest line. In that chest line, in addition to that, we have to add gathers. This garment is made up of fabrics like cotton and synthetic materials. Now, the measurements needed for the 90 is chest circumference that is 80 cm, waist circumference that is 63 cm, full length 115 cm and then shoulder width is 15 cm. The suitable materials needed for the nighty is cotton, satin, velvet, chiffon, polyester and silk cotton. These fabrics are suitable for to make nighty. But for summer season we mostly prefer cotton material only. And then the features needed for the nighty is full gown. According to our taste, we have to choose the length of the gown. And then sleeveless gathers at the chest line. These are the features we introduced into the garment. Now we are going to see about the drafting procedure. How to draft the nighty. First we are going to draft the back part for the nighty. For this nighty, 0 to 1 that is center front line center front line mark 0 to 1 1 8 chest plus 7.5 centimeter and then 0 to 2 full length that is full length plus 1.5 centimeter we have to mark full length 115 centimeter in addition to that 115 centimeter we can add 1.5 cm so totally 116.5 cm for the full length and then 0 to 3 that is neckline for this neckline 1 8 chest we can take 1 8 chest for the neckline and then the depth of the neckline according to our taste we have to choose our neckline normal neckline is 6 cm for this we can add 7.5 cm for the depth of the back neckline and then shape the neckline from 3 to 4. According to our taste, we have to choose the shape of the neckline and then 0 to 5 shoulder width plus 1 cm square down from 5 to 6 or 1 to 6 is also same as 0 to 5. And then 1 to 5, 0 to 5 shoulder width plus 1.5 cm and then 5 to 7 that is for shoulder slope for shoulder slope 2 cm we have to add 2 cm and then join 3 to 7 that is shoulder line and then 1 to 9 1 by 4 chest plus 4 to 5 cm that is for freeness in addition to that chest line we can add 4 to 5 cm for freeness and then 2 to 10 2 to 10 the same 1 by 4 chest for the freeness we have to add 15 to 20 cm because for e it is easy to walk so we have to add more fullness at the bottom circumference so we had we can add 15 to 20 cm for the bottom circumference and then join 9 to 10 and then 10 to 11 2 cm for bottom shape so 11 to 2 shape the bottom line and then keep 4 to 5 cm for in turn for the bottom folding line we can add 1 and a half inch or 4 to 
5 cm and then next we are going to see about the front part for the front part we can add yoke part for this yoke part we can use that same material or otherwise we can choose other contrast color material also for the yoke part for this now we are going to see about the drafting procedure for the yoke part that this yoke part is only for the front portion only okay now we are going to see about the drafting procedure 0 to 1 that is 1 8 chest plus 5 centimeter and then 0 to 2 for the neckline that is 1 8 chest and then the depth of the neckline 1 8 chest the same 1 8 chest neckline and the depth of the neckline is same that is 1 8 chest and then shape the neckline 2 to 3 according to our taste we have to shape the neckline various shapes and then 0 to 4 shoulder line shoulder line for that shoulder line shoulder width plus 1 centimeter we have to take shoulder width plus 1 centimeter and then 1 to 5 is same as 0 to 4 the measurements same will be followed for 1 to 5 and then 4 to 6 4 to 6 is 1.5 centimeter for shoulder slope and then 1 to 7 1.5 centimeter for chest line shape so 5 to 7 join join 5 to 7 these are the yoke part drafting procedures and then now we are going to see about the front part skirt part skirt part for the front for this skirt part also folding line that is 8 to 9 is a folding line 9 to 8 full length full length plus 1.5 centimeter minus yoke length that is front bodice length for this bodice length we have to minus the uh, bodice length in the full length and then so 8 to 9 is full length plus 1.5 centimeter minus bodice length 0 to 1 and then 10 to 8 and 11 to 9 10 centimeter or according to our taste for this 10 centimeter we, we provide 10 centimeter for to make gathers for addition to that 10 centimeter we have to add 10 or 20 centimeters if we want more gathers at the chest line you have to add 20 centimeter or otherwise 10 centimeter is enough and then 10 to 12 1 by 4 chest plus 4 to 5 centimeter and then 11 to 13 bottom circumference for that bottom circumference 1 by 4 chest plus 15 or 20 centimeter for the back part how much uh, we add in that back part that only the same will be added to the front so if we add 15 centimeter at the bottom of the back part now we add only 15 centimeter at the bo bottom of the front part also the same will be followed for back and front and then join 11 to join 12 to 13 12 to 13 and then 13 to 14 for bottom shape we have to add 1.5 centimeter now shape the bottom line 14 to 12 and then 15 to 12 2.5 centimeter for armhole line and then 16 to 10 is same as 1 to 6 shape 15 to 16 and then keep 4 to 5 centimeter for in turns and then next the cutting line what are the cutting line needed for the 90 is for the back part we have to cut the marking point 4 3 7 9 11 and 2 these points you have to cut for the back part and then for the front part the cutting line is 8 8 to 10 10 to 16 16 to 15 15 to 14 14 to 11 
11 to 9. These points are needed to cut for the front part. And then for the yoke part, cutting line is 3, 3 to 2, 2 to 6, 6 to 5 and 5 to 7. These are the cutting lines needed for the yoke part. And then cut components needed for the nighty is for the back part only one component needed. For the yoke part there are two components needed because the two components is one, one is for right side and the another one is for left side. And then skirt part only one skirt part is needed. And then totally there are four components because sleeveless nighty, so there is no need to draft sleeve. For this nighty, totally four components are needed. And then estimation of cloth and then layout method. Crosswise fold is used for this type of nighty. And then the fabric is fold at all. The pattern pieces are laid on the way. The fabric is not wasted. These are the layout method and then construction method needed for a nighty is first we have to finish the back and front neckline with facing and then join the shoulder seam together. Then form a gathers at the skirt part and then attach the skirt part to the yoke part by using lapped seam. And then attach skirt part, when uh, attaching the skirt part means finish the armhole line for the front and back. Complete the armhole line means then finish the side seam with shape at the bodice for skirt. Finish the hemming line of the skirt. Now the garment is completed. Like this way we have to construct the nighty. Okay, thank you.